So we are at the Mitur village celebrating one health program. A program which celebrates not just humans, but nature all across. Whether it is animals, plants or the entire ecosystem. With me today is uh, uh, the CEO of Microbioma, Dr. Manish Paul. And he is also the co-inventor of n meta Zocbactam. And he has, of course, been a speaker at many of our events also. So, sir, uh, to start with, uh, today we are celebrating the One Health program at uh, this school in Mitur village. Uh, if you could throw some light, your point of view on uh, One Health program as well as the AMR which you have been talking about. Thanks, uh, Suman. AMR is a very complex uh, situation which we have understood it as, as of today because uh, antimicrobial resistance is not a new thing uh, for the microbes per se. It is that we have discovered that this bacteria or other microbes are resistant to antibiotics. But what happens is when we increase the pressure on the microbes of any substance for that matter, the goal of microbes is to survive, the survival of the fittest. So it will find ways and means how to circumvent this inhibiting agent so it can survive. So that is the whole goal, how bacteria or other microfungi are working. So right. it is in this context, AMR is a natural expression of defense from the bacteria in as much as our immune system is for us to protect right. us, right? So that's how right. it works. So when you're talking about One Health, now every part of the One Health, be it animal or the agriculture, right. and also the humans, everywhere there is abuse. I call it abuse. Mm -hmm. I mean, the reason is, uh, there is a prescribed format. Correct. If anything is taken in the prescribed format, in the prescribed way, which mm -hmm. is time tested and with scientifically proven, then there is no problem. Correct. When you do not do that, it becomes an abuse. Right. So agriculture, there is indiscriminate use of antibiotics mm -hmm. and there is indiscriminate use of antibiotics in the animal for food and for poultry. Correct. And when we consume it as well, we, there is some element of these antibiotics get into our body right. and our body starts responding. Mm -hmm. Our body responding, means when I say our body, uh, I would like to say that our body is made up of only 15% of human cells by number mm -hmm. and 85% of our human body consists of microbes, which is the largest wow. organ in the body. Microbiome. Uh, microbiota. Mm -hmm. So microbiota is the largest part. It's more than 100 trillion uh, microbes are there uh, compared to about 30 trillion human cells in this body. Correct. So our body response means the microbes respond to these chemicals, these antibiotics which are indirectly consuming mm -hmm. and make them learn mm -hmm. the mechanisms of resistance. Correct. So one health is if we do not take care of all the three elements, just stopping the use of antibiotics or indiscriminate use of antibiotics is not going to stop AMR. Correct. We have to address even the poultry, poultry the animal, plants. the agriculture and all these aspects because from agriculture, it goes into the land from land to the waters. Again, we drink the recycle the water. Mm -hmm. It's all a very complex thing. So it has to be a concert, uh, concerted, concerted, mm -hmm. collective effort. Right. Only then we can solve this problem of very the EMR very through, uh, in, in the context of One Health. Wonderful. So now I was while well, uh, on the sidelines of this celebration, I was also talking to you. You shared your displeasure with the microbiologists who are coming into the industry right now. They're not well trained about this. Uh, uh, various aspects of sample collection, sample handling. Yes. If you could throw some light on that. Yeah. So diagnosis is very important. What we see most of the uh, laboratories, most of the laboratories, right. but there are enough good laboratories as well in academia, especially, right. and some of the really focused microbiology laboratories where they do classical good microbiology. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, many of them are called as glorified, mm -hmm. you know, technical people. Right. They really do not know how to understand each case because a microbe uh, in one situation right. and in a particular type of patient has a different role in compared to the same microbe in a different situation, another type of individual. Right. So one has to have this scientific knowledge mm -hmm. to evaluate each case and right. see, okay, this case, he has these predisposing conditions and in this kind of a sample, what is the organism I'm going to isolate mm -hmm. and look for that kind of antibiotics to use for testing. Right, right. So in clinical microbiology, this is a big gap is what I have seen practically when I go to the laboratories. They just say, okay, he's got um, multi-drug resistant bacteria in a urine sample. Mm -hmm. A urine sample is collected and left at room temperature for two, three hours. Mm -hmm. 
And in two, three hours, a lot of common cells will start multiplying. Correct. And they don't even know that they should collect the midstream urine. Right. The urethral bacteria will be there and they multiply. Mm -hmm. And actually, when we swab it on a plate, it is mm -hmm. these common cells which grow. Mm -hmm. And the antibiogram is given for these, not Correct. for the actual pathogen. The there is no more microscopy done. You have to do a gram stain and look at the host parasite interaction there. Mm -hmm. And then determine, okay, in this case, that is the actual pathogen, which is not growing. But right. treat that than what is grown. Mm -hmm. This kind of understanding is what we need to start educating people as a true microbiologists. And also probably, you know, the population is so much more interested to learn microbiology. In my days, of course, we had like four students in each class. Right. right? I studied at KMC Bangalore, wherein we, it is a three year master's course. Focused training was given by Dr. Anand Krishna, my mentor. Mm -hmm. It is very good. But today we have 25 to 60 students in the classroom and there is definitely that will translate into improper Reduced training. Attention. So I would encourage Biotechnica to, Biotechnica to have some training programs, <laughs> which I am sure a right. lot of people who want to genuinely learn, but they didn't Set have it. the opportunity, Set can it. learn through these courses and become good microbiologists. Right. And they themselves will be the major ambassadors who will mitigate the development of uh, AMR. AMR. Because when you do good microbiology, automatically you are solving half the problem there. Of course. Of right? Course, right. Right. Definitely we should plan and team up for that. So my next question to you, sir, is uh, your experience as an academia. Um, you were campus director at Acharya. So I'm sure you have mentored a lot of students. And right now there are a lot of youngsters watching who are in bio professionals and who want to make a career in biosciences. And you are a veteran in biosciences. If you could uh, share your insights to those students, because there is a lot of negativity on social media, which says there is no scope, there is no employability and there is no future. So if you could share your insights on this. Okay. People talk about passion and purpose. That right. these are two different things. If you're lucky enough, you can convert passion into your profession mm -hmm. or a career. Right. But what I see is many youngsters are studying to get a job right. rather than build a career around it. So one has to be uh, very contemporary in their knowledge database. Mm -hmm. So what you study in the textbooks is already two years old knowledge Correct. by the time it comes to you. Mm -hmm. So one has to pick up a topic and see what is happening today. Mm -hmm. So that's the way you become more relevant. Right. And no field is insignificant. Every field has its own pros and cons. Correct. And in this case, if somebody has a plan, you put it across, look at the market study, which is the industry with that is growing and you start working backwards. Mm -hmm. For example, go and look for positions. You want to be a CEO of a biotech company. Look at what are the qualifications. Right. And then what you do, you start working backwards. What are the previous steps? Reverse and what are the job de uh, descriptions of all these people? Mm -hmm. Do I have these skills? Right. And you start building those skills now. Mm -hmm. So when you go to the first job, you already have some of the skills of the senior guy. Right. And in an interview, they'll grab you because you have thought through the entire process and right. you put a you know, uh, career journey a ladder for yourself. Right. And why would you not succeed? Mm -hmm. You'll definitely succeed. And at the same time, be genuine in your job. Have mm -hmm. the desire to do the right thing not right. just i need to do this job to earn a living mm -hmm. that should not be the case right right when you go with that kind of a focus and i'm sure you will succeed because i come myself from a rural background called kalburgi now mm -hmm. a village where english was taught to us in canada right but we could i could step into johns hopkins and us fda and you know now be an inventor of a molecule co-inventor yeah. rather of so a molecule which is reaching the market. So all this is possible because if you have the vision and plan it very well, right. then nothing is impossible. So that's my next question actually, sir. So you have mentioned and uh, uh, like the first Indian uh, make in India antibiotic, which is in metazobactam, which is going to come into the market. It is in the last stages, final stages. So if you could throw some light on what where was the process and how did you discover and um, what are the things next after this? Uh, okay, uh, discovery is a very complex at the same time, highly collaborative project. Mm -hmm. It process. It is not one person discovers a molecule. At the same time, I say I'm a co-inventor. Correct. So I'm the bio I was the biology lead and I continue to be the biology lead of this molecule, which was discovered, uh, invented in Orchid Pharma, where I was okay. an employee. Okay. Right? The molecule belongs to Orchid Pharma right. and the market belongs to them. The patents, of course, have been assigned to all of us because right. we are the inventors of it. We right. are a group of people who have invented this. Right. But I was the biology lead. Mm -hmm. For invention, I always say, why this molecule has succeeded? Okay. Microbes are very complex. As right. I mentioned earlier, they want to survive. 
So when you threaten them, mm -hmm. they will find ways and means how to fight it. So I believe going after their virulence factors, mm -hmm. going after their defense mechanisms, mm -hmm. their pathogenicity factors is what would help mm -hmm. in warding off the infect, you know, infection rather than killing them directly. Right. So you make the environment hostile for the bacteria. So right. what you do for this, either you go and disarm the bacteria mm -hmm. or you go and protect the host. Mm -hmm. These are two ways how you can look at. And this molecule and metasobactam is of course the first anti-infective molecule from Indian soil, which is finished phase three. There are plenty of molecules have been invented so far, but nothing has finished phase three and entered the market anywhere in the world. And this is almost there at last week. It was even filed at the US FDA. Right. EMA, it is in the final stages of processing. So very soon this by this year end, I should see that molecule in European market, at least through the, our collaborators right. uh, through, to whom we had out licensed the molecule. Right. So it will come to the market. Right. But the Indian study, we are yet Still to start right. in India, uh, okay. which is we, we, do, we are awaiting the uh, regulatory agency's response to that. Based on that, the decision will be made how to go forward as per their uh, advice. Right, right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for your insights. It was really wonderful. And to all the youngsters out there, like sir said, you have to find your passion profession fit and reverse engineer. If you want to become a CEO, look at what are the qualities and then reverse engineer. Thank you so much, sir. It was a pleasure interacting with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.